What is up, you horn nerds? It is me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Tip of the hat to you. Hopefully you're doing well. I appreciate you stopping by. Today's review, typically not big on remakes, but I enjoyed this one. I thought they executed it well. I think they did great. I'm talking about the 2021 release of Candyman. Rated R, 2021. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Fantastic film. I'd watch it again. A lot of hate on this one, and I don't know why. Um, I'm sure the elitist out there, well, they just, it's not the original. I get that. It's not the original. None of them are ever the original. They, they're shot better. The film cinematography is better. They've got bigger budgets, but they don't have the feel of the original. You are preaching to the choir, my friends. However, if you separate your mind and look at this one, this is a fantastic film. So many nods to the original. Um, Tony Todd's in there as well as other cast members. You know, they even use the original baby crying from the original and put it in there, which is super cool sound clip. Um, they filmed in Cabrini Green, just like the original, even though there's nobody living there now, they still have the row houses. And 29 years later to come back and make this film, I thought it was great. If for some reason you've lived underneath a rock and don't know what this film is about, let me clue you in, okay? Oscar winner Jordan Peele and filmmaker Nia DaCosta unleash a fresh take on the blood-chilling urban legend Candyman. For decades, the housing projects of Chicago's Cabrini Green were terrorized by a ghost story about a supernatural hook-handed killer. In present day, an artist is, begins to explore the macabre history of Candyman, not knowing it would unravel his family or his sanity and unleash a terrifying wave of violence that puts him on a collision course with destiny. The cast was fantastic on it, and this thing broke ground. It broke barriers. And for that alone, we need to celebrate this film. Nia DaCosta, you're so good. You're so good, huh? She was the first female black director to have a film go to first place in the box office. That is fantastic. The glass ceiling is broken. Black women... If we can get some more horror movies for us, we 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 want them. We want to see your twisted minds. Nia DaCosta, she killed it. Of course, she um, also worked on the Ghost Tape, the Marvels. Fantastic, fantastic. So many people writing on this thing that just made it, honestly, the writing was great. Of course, you had Jordan Peele wrote. A lot of people thought he directed this. He didn't. He was asked to step back, let Nia take the wheel, and she freaking rocket shipped this thing, and it was great. Of course, Jordan Peele from Get Out, Us, um, Wynn Rosenfeld, who was in Nope, or, you know, was doing Nope with Jordan Peele, or goes on to, um, the 2019 remake of Twilight Zone. Of course, Nita Costa helped with writing. You had Bernard Rose, who worked on the original one. And of course, um, our friend, and we love him, Clive Barker. He had nothing to do with this film other than a original short story years and years ago that spun this thing into what it is. I loved it. I enjoyed it. 7 out of 10. Candyman remake. It's not really a remake. It's kind of like, but it's Candyman. And they just slap the name on it. But if you separate them from the original and this, this is a great film. 2021 Candyman. Given it 7 out of 10. Check it out. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't comment that the original is better. I know that. I'm right there with you. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. You know the drill. I appreciate y'all so much. Stick around. i got more reviews coming to you daily. See ya.